In today's listening video, we're going to learn about sumo wrestling. This is a Japanese martial art and super interesting as a sport and very different from what we see in the West. So stay tuned and we're going to improve our listening along the way. I'm going to say each paragraph two times and then give the answers. I'll then explain what each word means, and at the end of the three paragraphs on sumo wrestling, I'm gonna ask four comprehensive questions. So let's get started. Competitive wrestling, known as sumo, is a Japanese martial art with a history spanning centuries. Sportsmen compete in pairs. Their ultimate goal is to force the opponent out of the ring or to touch the ground with any body part other than their feet. Sumo wrestling is Japan's national sport with annual championships, lucrative prizes, and highly promoted tournaments. Let's listen to it again. Competitive wrestling, known as sumo, is a Japanese martial art with a history spanning centuries. Sportsmen compete in pairs, their ultimate goal is to force the opponent out of the ring or to touch the ground with any body part other than their feet. Sumo wrestling is Japan's national sport with annual championships, lucrative prizes, and highly promoted tournaments. Now I'll give you the answers. Competitive wrestling, known as sumo, is a Japanese martial art with a history spanning centuries. Sportsmen compete in pairs. Their ultimate goal is to force the opponent out of the ring or to touch the ground with any body part other than their feet. Sumo wrestling is Japan's national sport with annual championships, lucrative prizes, and highly promoted tournaments. Now, make sure you get the spelling right as well. So wrestling, the W is silent, is a sport in which two people fight and try to throw each other to the ground. Martial arts are self-defense sports such as judo or karate associated with Japan, Korea, and China. In pairs is something done by two people. And something lucrative is something profitable. You can make a lot of money doing it. A tournament is a competition involving many participants. Now let's look at the second paragraph. The earliest record of sumo dates back to 23 BCE. The sport originated from ritual dances performed as prayers for good harvest. In the early Middle Ages, sumo was popular with the emperor's court, though it was subsequently repurposed for samurai military combat. The revival of this sport happened in the Meiji era in the 19th century due to nationalist sentiments. Since then, sumo has attracted immense attention and huge crowds. Now the second reading. The earliest record of sumo dates back to 23 BCE. The sport originated from ritual dances performed as prayers for good harvest. In the early Middle Ages, sumo was popular with the emperor's court, though it was subsequently repurposed for samurai military combat. The revival of this sport happened in the Meiji era in the 19th century due to nationalist sentiments. Since then, sumo has attracted immense attention and huge crowds. Now I'll read the answers. The earliest record of sumo dates back to 23 BCE. The sport originated from ritual dances performed as prayers for good harvest. In the early Middle Ages, sumo was popular with the emperor's court, though it was subsequently repurposed for samurai military combat. The revival of this sport happened in the Meiji era in the 19th century due to nationalist sentiments. Since then, sumo has attracted immense attention and huge crowds. BCE is before the common era, at the birth of Christ. Harvest are a farmer's crops that are cut and collected. 
subsequently means later or afterwards. Revival is a renewal or restoration. And something immense is something huge or extensive. Now the third and final paragraph. But before we do that, if you like these listening videos, tell your friends about it and be sure to subscribe to my channel and make a comment when you feel it's appropriate. Nowadays, championships ensure sumo success. Professional wrestlers became the sports cast with harsh demands on their height and weight. Sumo athletes must follow a strict protein diet and highly regimented nine-year training to become professional sportsmen. Even their private lives are rigorously tracked. They are even prohibited from driving cars. However, their high salaries motivate many wrestlers to pursue this career. Here's the second reading. Nowadays, championships ensure sumo success. Professional wrestlers become the sport's cast with harsh demands on their height and weight. Sumo athletes must follow a strict protein diet and highly regimented nine-year training to become professional sportsmen. Even their private lives are rigorously tracked. They are even prohibited from driving cars. However, their high salaries motivate many wrestlers to pursue this career. Now I'll read the answers. Nowadays, championships ensure sumo success. Professional wrestlers became the sport's cast with harsh demands on their height and weight. Sumo athletes must follow a strict protein diet and highly regimented nine-year training to become professional sportsmen. Even their private lives are rigorously tracked. They are even prohibited from driving cars. However, their high salaries motivate many wrestlers to pursue this career. Now the terms nowadays means these days, currently. Weight is the amount that something or someone weighs. A protein diet is a diet in which more than 20% of the calories come from protein. Rigorously means severely, harshly. And if you pursue something, you seek, af you seek after it or you go after it. Now, let's look at the questions and see if you understood the text as a whole. Number one, true, false, or not given. To win, a sumo wrestler must hit any opponent's body part other than the feet. If you need more time, pause the video. The answer is false. Their ultimate goal is to force an opponent out of the ring or have one of their body parts other than their feet touch the ground. Question number two, true, false, or not given. In medieval times, sumo was temporarily banned. The answer is not given. Question number three. What is not prohibited for sumo wrestlers? Is it A, eat what they want, B, drive vehicles, or C, taking naps in the afternoon? The answer is C. They're allowed to take naps, presumably. Question number four, what word is written incorrectly? Is it A, immense, B, rigorously, or C, lucrative? The answer is A, immense. There should be two M's, not one. And as a bonus, I would like you to look at the picture attached to my side and describe what you see in it. Be attentive to the details. Thanks for watching and see you for the next listening video next week.